And today is National Pizza Day, and our food guy shares the story of how a suburban pizzeria owes its success to an African-American cook from Mississippi. For more than 20 years, Giorgio's has been a favorite in the northwest suburbs, and they got their deep dish recipe and training from the woman who made pizzas at Uno's, Douay's, and Gino's over a 30-year career. Here's Steve, here's Steve Delinsky. Brian Coley opened Giorgio's Chicago Pizzeria and Pub in Crystal Lake more than 20 years ago. A second location in South Barrington came later. Both feature Chicago Thin, a.k.a. tavern style, as well as deep dish. The latter from a recipe handed down from his father, Michael, who in turn got it from Alice May Redmond. Redmond cooked at Uno's and Douay's in the 1940s and 50s, then helped open Gino's and later Gino's East. She retired in 1989, but a year later helped Michael Coley open Old World Pizza in Elmwood Park. He asked uh, Alice if she would come over and help him kind of make deep dish pizza. She came over and taught him how to make it. You know, without her, we wouldn't be here today. Redmond was the first to add a significant amount of oil to the dough to help it stretch in the pan. In this 1990 video, notice the yellow oil container on the counter. Then check out what Giorgio's still uses today. We make the dough fresh every day, but we'll keep it for a few days before you can use it. Let it develop that flavor. After it's pressed out in the pan, slices of mozzarella are shingled over it. Then your topping, usually pepperoni or sausage. And finally, the deep red California tomato sauce spread by hand, followed by a light dusting of grated Romano. The more impressive technique comes after the pizza is baked. Ever wonder how they gracefully remove a deep dish pizza to a cardboard base before cutting? These guys are uh, they are amazing at what they do. Cut and served, the crust is akin to biscuit dough, flaky and firm, no silverware necessary. Coley says they're also proud of their tavern style pies. The sausage jardinera is a crowd pleaser, but it's the deep dish that will always remind him of Redmond, whom he met when he was just 10 years old. It's an homage, I think, to Alice Mae Redmond and you know her dedication to the pizza. She was gracious enough to you know share the recipe and we carry that forward today. Well, fans of Luisa's in Crestwood or Lou Malnati's or Paisano's or My Pie will recognize this pizza the way it looks, of course, and the fact that you don't need a knife and fork to eat this deep dish. In South Barrington, Steve Delinsky, NBC5 News. If you needed another excuse to eat pizza. Now I really want some pizza. There it is right there. Wow, it looked good. Dinner figured out tonight. Yeah, thanks to Steve.